guys, what's up? This is Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to keyframe in Sony Vegas. So to start off with, I've already opened up Sony Vegas, and I've already got a picture frame inserted into the video frame. So to start off with, we're going to click on this little box down here, and this right here is the Event Pan Crop Tool. So by clicking on the Event Tool, we're going to be into here. And once we're here, you're going to see that on the bottom here, we actually have a keyframe place. And this is where you do all the keyframing on the timeline down here. Now right here we have our first keyframe, and if you can zoom in you'll see it's pictured right at the very front of the timeline. So that's where it has to be. Currently nothing is happening to this picture, but if we play around with it, we can do a lot of things to it. And keep in mind that this also works with text and any other sorts of uh, pictures or videos or whatever you use. So keyframes are pretty relevant to whatever area you're doing. So to start off with we have our keyframe here, and what happens if we want to insert another one? We simply click on anywhere else in the timeline where you want to insert another one, and then go down to this little box here, and you'll see a create keyframe. By clicking on this, we've created another keyframe. If you want to get rid of it, just click on here. Alternatively, you can also right click, and you can also, by adding another one in, and by right clicking it, you can also cut, copy, or delete it. So there are a few options there on creating keyframes. Now what do keyframes actually do? The first one here, you'll see that the, the crop of the frame is actually the entire picture. You can see the entire picture in the frame. If we make another keyframe here, for example, and go exactly onto that keyframe, you'll see that if we move the crop and we bring it in so that the video pans inwards, you'll see that as we go out back to the start and as we move across now, you'll see that as we move towards the second keyframe, it's actually zooming in to where we cropped it on that keyframe. So that's what keyframes are used for. They're basically used for animating and making a video look more alive. So now that we've done this, how can we actually play around with the keyframes and make it even more interesting? There's a few things we can do, and to do it I'll stretch the keyframe out a bit more so we can actually see it play over the course of a second. Now as we've done this, you can see also that we can move the keyframe around by left clicking and just dragging it across. So that drags across the keyframe. So, as we've done it now, we've moved the keyframe so it's a second across, so we've got a bit more viewing time. What we're going to do is we're going to play around with how the keyframe animates. By right clicking on the first keyframe, we can do uh, several options here as you can see. One of them is called hold, and this one here actually stops the keyframe from moving right until the very end. So you'll see now that the keyframe is not moving at all. We're not moving at all towards the events of the second keyframe. But once we pass the second keyframe, boom, there we go. Now it's entirely animated, all in one shot. So it's a sort of way to have like a very linear progression of events, nothing happening at all. You can also change it around. It's not permanent once you change it to hold. So we can change it to something like slow, for example. And what this does is I'll exit here, keep it on preview so it animates better. And you'll see that it goes slow and then faster and animates right to the end. You may notice as well that it didn't animate all the way to the end. And the reason for this is because if we go back into our keyframe area, you'll realize that the keyframe is not at the end. So if we drag it out to the end now and we let it play again, plays right to the end. Now there's a few other things we can do as well once we've done this. Other than this, we can also change it around a bit more. For example, if you don't want it to start straight away, you can always move the front keyframe a little bit forward so that the pan actually stays the way it is. And it won't start to play until after it passes that keyframe. So you don't always have to keyframe right from the start. That's basically what it is. And you've, all got, you've got a few other options here as well, such as smooth. And this one here starts off smoothly and then it goes a bit more faster, as you'll see. And then it slows down at the end as well. So there's a bit more of a cinematic kind of zooming in and out. And you've also got fast, which does it very fast at the beginning and then it slows down, as you'll see. Then it slows right down. And we also have sharp. And this is a variation of, uh, of fast. So as we play it across, you'll see now, it goes very fast like that at the end. So there's some of the options for keyframing with Sony Vegas 13. What do you think about keyframing? Leave a comment below and thanks for watching.